Man, my hair looks stupid. John, if this doesn't tell you how much I care about you, I don't know what will. I went to uh, get my hair done at my wife's hairdresser because I wanted something new and different. And um, I think new and different turned into a little bit more than I bargained for. I had planned on staying off camera until I could get this um, until this grew out, until I looked normal again. But your video <coughs> has spurred me to come out and swallow that humble pie and humiliate myself a little bit here. Um, because you are more important than my pride. I, I won't pretend to know what events or sequence of events led up to the making of your video. Uh, but I do know you've complained off and on ever since you left the faith of how you've been treated. And I want you to understand that I understand that and um, I'm not here necessarily to make excuses for how you've been treated. Uh, but I do want to first of all apologize. Um, even I have struggled um, with reacting to you properly. Um, so I do in some ways want to just make sure that you get a good apology. You know, um, <clears throat> you are a good man. Um, you are a tender-hearted man. You like to act tough and throw some of these cuss words around and remind us where you're from, but you've got a mushy heart and I, I can see that whether anyone else can or not. Um, but on the other hand, too, I want to walk you through some things that may help you gain perspective on how my side of the fence is reacting to you, whether it's appropriate or not. Um, the thing you got to remember is Jesus Christ is a real, true, living person that we have a relationship with who we care about and who we love. Now whether you believe we're deluding ourselves and we have a fake imaginary friend is irrelevant. To us it's very very real and you cannot really convince us otherwise. Um, so when you reject someone that we love that much our, our initial gut reaction temptation is to be hurt and then immediately get angry about it because when when you get hurt or when you when someone hurts someone you love you you rise to defend them you rise to say hey what's going on you, 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 you get kind of confrontational and if you can't relate to it from the Jesus Christ example then think about your own wife for a second Imagine I just could not stand her, and I let you know all about it, and I let her know all about it. I'm just like, I cannot stand her, uh, you know, I, I want to be your friend, John, but, you know, it's going to have to be situations where she's not around. Um, it would be hard for you to be my friend at that point, because I'm rejecting someone you love so dearly, and I've made the, the situation really uncomfortable. Um, and in some ways, you would look at me and go, dude, what are you thinking? How, how can I possibly continue having such a close, intimate friendship with you when you've rejected this person that has such value to me? Um, the other thing I think you're forgetting a little bit is you're, you occasionally throw some pot shots our way. I mean, I've seen more than one video from your channel that, in my opinion, hold no real value other than just to laugh at and or mock some particular Christian belief or doctrine. And in some ways, dude, I am I can laugh at myself. I, I've got a sense of humor. I know that there are Christians out there that have forgotten how to laugh and they haven't laughed since the day they were reborn, but some of the stuff you've done <clears throat> went over the line and I told you about it when you did it and whether you ever agreed with my assessment or not you know that's neither here nor there so um, I said this in my text comments but I want to invite you to go watch my video Christian hypocrite 
because the summary here is, yeah, we are a sad lot of people. We are hypocrites. We can be judgmental. We can fail to be Christ-like. We, we often do fail to be Christ-like. Um, funny thing is, though, Christians are just people like you and Jordan and James who are no longer Christians. Nothing magical happened to cause you guys to all of a sudden be better people than you once were. In some ways, I've seen some backsliding going on, you know, just with your language alone. Um, <clears throat> so we're all people, we're all fallible, we're all capable of every sin in the book. But isn't that exactly why we need Jesus? So, yeah, you're not in the club anymore. Maybe some people are just that immature that because you aren't in the club anymore, they're mad at you and they don't want to talk to you and they don't want to be your friend. Um, but there are more people out there than just me that care about you, that love you, and some of them just don't know how to react. They're at a loss. Um, honestly, you're the first person, you and, you and Jordan are the first two people that I've known in a semi-intimate <clears throat> way that I've witnessed leave the faith. So I was in uncharted territory, uh, having never gone through it before, as to how to properly react and dialogue and encourage a return. So I'm hoping that you'll be somewhat forgiving um, of us hypocrites, and I'm hoping that your video uh, maybe spurs some of those that have made mistakes with you to come and apologize and maybe some that have stayed on the sidelines being silent about it, uh, that maybe have wanted to say something but haven't, I hope it spurs some of them to do so, either in video form or in a personal message to you. Man, my hair looks stupid. <laughs>